Hello everyone, welcome to another Rex Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the Mattel Retro Action Real Ghostbusters action figures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at each of the four Ghostbusters and their accessories. And then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And just remember, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. They're small clicks for you, but really help this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. Alright, so here's all four of the Ghostbusters. I really like the detail with these figures. Um, they all use the same body, just different head sculpts. Okay, they're obviously designed off of the old Mego look. So you have your four Ghostbusters. So you have Peter Bakeman, Ray Stance, Egon Spangler, and Winston Zedmore. Uh, I love the detail on them. They look really nice. You can definitely tell who is who. So now the funny thing is they all come with the proton packs. But everybody but Peter comes with an extra accessory. So Ray comes with the sniffer here. All right. Got some really nice detail. I love all the detail that they put in the switches, buttons, the straps. Even the sniffer itself kind of has like, you know, color detail to here. And the squeezer and what have you. Egon obviously came with the PKE meter, which is really nice. There's a lot of really nice detail in that. Even though the back is a blank slate but still the front of it looks really nice and that's what most people are going to see and then winston comes with the trap okay and like everything else the detailing is nice they actually took time to paint in like the buttons on the the pedal here and get all this nice detail the bottom is once again just an open shell but still overall it's really nice and like i said peter's the only one who doesn't come with any extra accessories. So with him, I'm gonna go over the points of articulation because all four figures do have the same points of articulation. It's just, you know, it's just a measure of trying to save some time. So let's bring Peter up in front. All right, let's give him the rotation. Now the detail to his costume is really nice too. Well, actually his jumpsuit. So all the blue highlights and everything are really nice. You got your, you know, elbow pads here which is basically just a strip of cloth you got your ghostbuster logo you got the proton pack that sits nicely on his back all right now the proton pack is removable there's straps you can pull it off it's the same with his outfit i think the boots come off as well yes yeah, so the boots can come off the jumpsuit can come off and the pack can also come off all right so his points of articulation is the head does move you got a shoulder joint, all right, an elbow joint, and you got a wrist joint. All right, put the arms up. You do got a torso joint here, all right. You got a thigh joint, a knee joint, and you do have an ankle joint. Now, the thing about these figures that I wasn't so keen on is the legs are really loose on them. See how he wobbles? But, interesting enough, they actually do stand pretty well. See? It, which kind of, you know, amazed me a little bit because I thought with such loose, wobbly legs, they wouldn't stand very well. But as you see, with him, even the other three figures, they're all standing on their own. So that's pretty nice that they can actually stand on their own, even with wobbly legs. So let's go into the Proton Pack. Once again, a lot of really nice detail on the pack. I love how they add all the extra colors, okay? The uh, Neutron Wand fits really nicely onto the back here. There's a little peg there. There's a little hole on the bottom, all right? You can make him hold it. Yeah, he's a little stiff. And you can probably have him hold it in the front too. So now you can have him holding it with both hands just like that so overall he's a really cool looking figure there's definitely a lot of detail and i feel like there was some work put into these figures okay put him back over here 
Let's get Ray up, up front and center. All right. Once again, even though their legs are so wobbly, as you see, they stand very well. Let's give him the rotation. All right. Once again, he has all the same points like uh, Vakeman. They put did a lot of nice color work onto the cuffs, the collar, and what have you. All right. Um, he has the logo. Like I said, the armbands are just basically uh, strips of cloth. All right. And he comes with the sniffer. Now, I think I would rather have the sniffer come with Peter because, you know, he used it in the movie. This is, uh, I think in the animated series, they actually did use this in an episode or two. I forget it. It's been forever since I sat down and watched all of them. But Peter's more known for having this because he used it in the movie. I think what Ray should have came with was the goggles. Ray is always known to be wearing the, you know, the ghost detecting goggles. So I think he should have came with the goggles and this should have came with Peter. So let's see how well this works on him. So this can go under his arm. All right, let's put the squeezer in this hand. All right, so he can hold the squeezer. Oops, eventually. All right. So it'll take a little bit of work, but it fits in there. And then you can put this wand in this hand. It has these little straps so it can strap onto his hand. Oops. All right. So that don't fit extremely well. The squeezer fits a lot better in his hand, to be honest with you. Like I said, this had a strap or something, but... If you play with them a little bit, it'll work. And once again, he stands very well on his own. So as you can see, he can hold that without any issues. The wand, okay, is, it'll take a little bit of work to get that in his hand. But overall, he holds it pretty well. All right, next is Egon. Okay. Now, he doesn't stand as well as him. He seems to want to lean back more. Uh, even though they stand very well, I would probably recommend eventually getting stands for them. Just so, you know, they can stand a little bit better. And you could probably even pose them a little bit easier as well. So let's give him the rotation. All right. All the same key points of detail. And like I said, the packs do come off. They're a little bit hard because you kind of have to move the arms in a way that they just slide off. So as you see, they just slide right off of there with no real effort. In fact, there we go. And then if you did want to take the jumpsuit off, there's a clip here for the belt. And then the jumpsuit just opens up. So you get to see your Egon without the pack. And then that's what the pack looks on the back and what have you. And it just uses straps, which is really nice. I do like some figures that just use straps. Um... These guys do, and I noticed the Super 7 G.I. Joe figures usually do as well. And as you see, boom, that just goes on really nice. No issues. All right. And let's give him the PK meter. Should just slide really nicely into his hand. It does. All right, so now you can bend his arm. And now he could have the PK meter in his hand. All right. Like I said, see how he kind of just leans back a little. You know, he does stand. It just. There we go. Now with the PK meter, I think with this one, they should have had a back put onto it. Just because most of the time when you're going to display them, most people are going to see the back of it like this. So they're going to see that little gaping hole. So I think with this one, they probably should have just, you know, you know, went the little extra mile and put it back on there. So that's Egon. And last but not least, Winston. So now Winston's an interesting character for me because in the animated series, I liked Peter the best. I think most kids did. But in the live action... You know, the actual movies, Winston's was always my favorite. And I think in the movies, he was my favorite because he was just your average guy. You know, he wasn't a scientist. He wasn't, you know, some sort of doctrine or ghost expert. He was just some dude looking for a job. 
And that's what I liked about him because I feel like I relate it more to his character than the others. So he was always my favorite in the movies. And like I said, in the cartoon, Peter was my favorite. So he comes with the trap. We already looked at the trap. Now you could probably try to hook the trap onto the pack here somehow, some way. I remember there used to be a way I used to do it. Yeah. So, okay. So see, you could get the trap to hook onto his pack. You probably just wrap this around however you want to do it. You know, oops, popped off of there. So you can actually hook it on there. It is doable. Like I said, it's just a matter of working it. Now it won't cooperate because, you know, It just fits over those. And then as you see, you can hook that on there and then you can do whatever you want with this piece. All right. This just goes right into hand. So now you can have him actually carrying the trap. All right. So the trap fits in his hand very well, no issues. And because they're all the same mold, all these weapons and accessories are interchangeable. You know, each one can carry whatever you want them to. So, overall, I think these are really nice figures. You know, like I said, I'm still surprised that they stand as well, seeing how loose the legs were. Because at first I thought that was going to be an issue, but it isn't. They're really nicely sculpted. They really look cool. They look really good on a shelf. So, overall, if you're a Ghostbusters fan, especially if you're a fan of the, you know, real Ghostbusters cartoon series... I would highly recommend these figures. So with that being said, I hope you all did like this review. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, share, and subscribe. They're small clicks for you, but really help this channel grow. So until the next one, late.